Welcome to the fifth chapter of our video tutorial series, where we continue our exploration of the Crossroad Generator tool for Unreal Engine 5. In the previous chapter, our primary focus was on bridge modules and their utilization within the Crossroad Generator. We delved into the various settings within this module, learning how to construct diverse bridge structures. Moreover, we gained insights into connecting bridges with different road configurations and seamlessly integrating them into landscapes. In this fifth chapter, our discussion will revolve around the creation of complex powerline systems using the integrated advanced module. We will delve into utilizing this module independently and in combination with road structures. Our exploration will encompass a comprehensive overview of all the available settings within this module, empowering you to craft detailed and realistic powerlines for your projects. Let's navigate through the diverse functionalities and elevate your understanding of the Crossroad Generator tool. Let's explore all the options for creating a powerline system using the Crossroad Generator. Begin by dragging and dropping the Crossroad Generator blueprint into your editor. Spawn roads by clicking the Spawn All Road button in the Spawning Road menu. Extend the road by holding the Alt key and dragging the end spline point of any road. By selecting a road, you can enable power line modules, additional power pole modules, and cable structures on power poles in the Road Generator menu. Alternatively, you can create a power line by dragging and dropping the road generator blueprint directly into the editor, extending the road spline similarly, and enabling power line modules in the main menu. You can also disable the road module, which is enabled by default, and work with power line modules exclusively. The generator automatically adjusts the position of the modules along the spline. Note that each power pole is spawned on every spline point, so if you want to add more power poles to the system, either divide the spline or add more points to it. In the Road Generator main menu, you'll find a rollout menu named Power Pole Type. With this parameter, you can change the type of power poles to choose a specific look for your power line system. Currently, you have four main power pole type variations available and one extra type of a broken power pole if you want to add a damaged appearance to your power line system. At any point in the editing process, you can change the road type, and the power line will adjust its position accordingly. The position of the power line towards the road can be adjusted by transform parameters globally and also locally for each power pole separately. We will demonstrate these options shortly. Let's delve deeper into the powerline settings to understand how you can customize your powerline system further. For better understanding of which power pole you are editing, you can enable the parameter Show Power Pole Numbers. This will display the number assigned to each power pole in the array, which you can locate in the powerline module settings. Note that in the powerline settings, you are editing the global parameters of the powerline system you will create. In the power line module settings, you are entering the local parameters for each power pole. We will disable the additional power line modules for now to help us focus on the main settings. The first parameter you can set in the power line settings is power pole distribution. You can choose single, random, or sequential distribution of power poles along the spline. When you set the single distribution, the variations are switched by the power pole type rollout parameter menu in the road generator main settings. Sequential distribution spawns the power pole mesh variations across the spline in the exact order set in the array. You can further customize your power pole's appearance by adding or removing mesh variations in the power pole mesh array located in the advanced settings of this module. Next parameter is called global offset which can offset the entire power line to a desired position towards the spline. This might be handy if you need to spawn the power line on the other side of the road or generally relocate the power line somewhere else. The parameter lock vertical slope can help you lock the vertical rotation of the power poles. This option might be helpful when you are building the power line on steep terrain, and you need to lock the vertical rotation of the power poles. If this option is on, it overrides all local transformations of each power pole. 
The last three parameters, mesh collisions, shadow casting, and culling distance offer the flexibility to optimize performance and streamline draw calls in your project. It is worth noting that by setting the culling distance in the power line settings, you will set the culling distance for additional power pole modules too, so you do not have to worry about it later. Let's move to advanced power line settings. The first parameter here is called Hide Power Pole at Number. This option hides the selected power pole mesh. Let us show you how you can use it in a specific situation. Imagine you'd like to connect two power lines disconnected by a crossroad. You can simply hide the selected power pole. Then go to the power line module settings where you locate the index number of the hidden power pole. By entering this array, you will find local power pole module settings. By clicking on the parameter Enable Local Transform, you will activate the local transform for this specific power pole within the power line and can move or rotate it as you need. Let's offset it to connect it with the other power line. Make sure that the lock vertical slope parameter is disabled, otherwise, the local power pole transform will not work. Let's return it to the original position by disabling the local transforms in the power pole module settings and talk about the last parameter you can set in the advanced power line settings menu. The last parameter is called enable deleting. This option enables you to temporarily remove power poles from the power line. All you need to do is add the numbers of power poles which you would like to remove into the array menu below this parameter. This can be handy in situations where something is in the power line's way and you need to remove parts of it. Let's move on to the local power pole module settings, which serve for deeper customization of each power pole. First, we have to enable the power line modules in the road generator settings. Also, make sure you enable the show power pole numbers parameter to make editing easier. Locate the power pole with the index number you would like to start editing. In this case, it is pole number 1. The first parameter is named Enable Modules. With this parameter, you can turn on or off additional modules on the selected power pole. The second parameter is called Enable Local Transforms. By enabling this parameter, you will gain access to transform settings so you can change the location and local rotation of the selected power pole. Make sure that the Lock Vertical Slope parameter is disabled, otherwise, the local power pole transform will not work. In the section named Add Module, you can add or remove custom modules for the selected power pole. By default, each power pole has all modules added to the array. If you like, you can use the optional parameter Enable Random Modules, which will randomly pick modules for you and customize the overall look for you randomly. The last power line modules we are going to talk about in this video chapter are cables. Like in the power pole module settings, we have global and local cable settings that control different aspects of the cables. In the section cable settings, you have four arrays. Each array controls one cable all along the power line. In each array, you can set four parameters, cable socket name, solver iterations, cable stiffness, and cable width. By manipulating these parameters, you can achieve different simulation results. We invite you to play with them to find what works best for you. If you enter a cable width of zero, you simply disable the cable entirely. In the cable override settings, you can control cables locally. Here you have another array menu which you can expand by adding more elements to it. 
In this setting, you can add slack to selected cables or edit the width of the part of the cable. By entering cable socket name and cable position number parameters, you can select a specific cable part that you would like to edit. Let's add some slack to the cable and change the parameters to see how it works. In the cable advanced settings, you will find useful options like cable material. With this parameter, you can change the assigned material on the cables. Under the material instance parameter, you can adjust the material tiling on the cables. These advanced options also include settings for optimization, such as cable collision settings, collision friction settings, casting shadow settings, and culling distance options aimed at optimizing performance and streamlining draw calls in your project. One of the very useful features in these settings is a parameter named Enable Random Cable Slacks. With this parameter, you can add random cable slacks to all parts of the cables, eliminating the need to do it manually for each segment. Simply adjust the minimal and maximal slack amounts, and this setting will randomly assign slacks to cables, making them visually interesting. Note that by using the Enable Random Cable Slacks option, you will disable cable override settings, preventing you from customizing the cables using those settings. Thank you for watching this fifth chapter video tutorial. To delve deeper into its capabilities, I encourage you to explore all the tutorials available on our YouTube channel. If you're seeking to elevate your environment and create stunning scenes, the Crossroad Generator for Unreal Engine is an indispensable tool. You can find it on the Unreal Marketplace, and the link is available in the video description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to render your tail with us.